Alright guys, here it is, the newest edition of Let's Play Game. The rules are simple. We try to find one match without one Pepe, or without one Cosmo. Simple as that. No Pepe, no Cosmo. That's all I'm asking for, just two decks. So anyway, let's start things off. We got the Trainer and Rich DeWitt. Anyway, I'm on Dog Stew because no one cares about Dog Stew. Oh, oh, nope, nope. Of course, starting out bad as always, but yeah, no one cares about Dog Stew. That's why I'm on Dog Stew. So I won't have a trillion people stalking me asking if I'm doing low rated duelist because I'm not. My God, that gets annoying after a while. But anyway, yeah. As you can see, we got Daffy Duck, but main man, he's always online. Like, seriously, guys, if you want any hope in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh, don't go to me. Go to Daffy Duck. This guy is one of the best players in the history of the game. No joke whatsoever. 100% serious. It's it's Daffy Duck, man. He's always on when I'm on, and he's just he's so pro. Just my idol right there, my my freaking idol. But anyway, on a more related note, we're already 0-2. Let's go on to the third game. We got Crasher 93 and Pena Finacos, British Columbia, because that's obviously what BC means. I mean, what other, uh, <laughs> what else would BC stand for? Back Crasher? Not even Scratcher. See, that's, I can't even think of anything on the spot. As you can see, nope. God, I hate Monkey Boy. The artwork is so bad. Like, I'm not just saying that to say it. The artwork is just horrendous. Anyway, here's Jesse. Feels like a great day every day when you got Jesse. I also got Kurt Cobain, AC Milan. Don't know what Jesse's playing, so I guess we're going to pause the video and wait for him to reveal his deck. Yeah, no surprise here. I mean, that anti-spill has him on the lockdown, but I mean, Pendulum Sorcerer, Scroll Bat Joker, Plush Fire. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you've seen enough. So anyway, let's see which one are we on. Kurt, and we're on the Ghetto Boy from the Ghetto, so obviously you don't have money to afford Pepe. So I believe we found a winner here, as this kid's from the Ghetto and he can't afford Pepe, but why is there Pepe? Ah, uh, must be a hallucination. Only logical explanation, guys, is a hallucination. God dang it, I didn't go on Do Not Disturb. No one saw that. Anyway, here is World RF Pro versus some other kid, unfortunately. No. <laughs> That's all I gotta say about that. And we are officially scrolling down. We are on Tacky versus my main man Onion. If you guys don't know, Onion was a very nice guy. Gave me a free win and rated a long, long time ago. Unfortunately, there's Pepe, so I'm not staying long. So, yeah, I'm trying to do this fast, and for once in my life, this computer actually isn't lagging. So, hopefully, I can get this done quick. I wanted to get this video done below five minutes. I don't think that's going to happen. As you can see, more Pepe for the freaking win. I don't speak your language, sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> LOL. <laughs> oh my god. Anything to play Yu-Gi-Oh, guys. Number one rule before going on DN. Learn how to speak. Oh, well, if you join the Spanish pool, no one's ever in the Spanish pool. I've actually tried to join the Duelist pool on Spanish. I can't show you an example, because I only got OCG decks on here. <laughs> or, not OCG, old school decks, but... I, I don't know what's the point of the whole language thing on the duelist pool, because no one's ever in Spanish. There's one time where I had all the free time in the world, I joined that Spanish pool for 10 minutes, and I didn't get anything. Like, what the frick? Anyway, here is... I don't even remember which one we were on. I believe... These guys right here? Not in the mood to pronounce that username, whatever the frick it is. Not even remotely. And unfortunately, it's a Pepe Mirror match. I'm out of here. So, Angelic Angel... I really hope this video doesn't go over 10 minutes, because I don't think I have the time to do that. We are on Panda... Panda Ban versus I beat 902 in top 4. Oh, congratulations. He beat 902 in top 4. You just had to make a freaking username and account and brag all about that. My god. See, I knew this would happen in the freaking Let's Play a Game after Bosch came out. I knew it would just be Pepe, Pepe, Pepe. Like, seriously, guys, is it that hard to play another deck? If any of you kids at home are wondering why I'm not doing rated, I probably won't even go to my next regional just because there's no point. Like, what's what's the point? Why would I want to play against this stuff 24-7? Like, it's, uh, it's just stupid. But anyway, here's 808 versus Deadmaster. Like I said, my next regional is scheduled for... And as you can see, Pepe right here. Scheduled for... I believe March 5th, but if we don't get a ban list or something by March 5th, I ain't going. I already got the Nats invite, so there's really no point. I'm usually one of those guys who goes to all the regionals because there's only like 
three or four a year. I'm not one of those guys who gets like regionals like once a month or something like that. I wish I did. <laughs> oh, I wish. I don't even remember who we were on. I believe self esteem. No, no, no. We were. I believe we we're on these guys. See, so, yeah, I'm losing track, which is, which is just pathetic. But pan, pandap, pandap. Cosmo, oh my god, seriously, the only two decks, well, the only three decks, I believe, like, the legitimately only three decks we've seen were, actually, we saw one Mermel, so it was Mermel, BA, and then Cosmos and Pepe. So, let's see, who are we on now? I guess we're on Barris Fisco versus Robert DiMartino, because these guys just started, so it's not technically the highest rated. You gotta go highest rated down to the lowest. We have to go to the lowest rated duel and that's what we have to do, children. As you can see, here's Cosmos here. Heroes, but that doesn't cut it. I said no Cosmos, no Pepe. No if ands, or buts. And unfortunately I just cannot get that. That's all I want for Christmas, guys. It's no Cosmos or no Pepe, but fortunately Christmas already happened and I won't be getting anything for Christmas. <laughs> we are on... Hmm... I don't remember checking into these guys. Let's check out what they're playing. The casual duelist. So since he's a casual duelist, he's obviously not playing anything good. Fortunately, the other guy's playing Cosmos. So yeah. <laughs> and on to the next duel we go, children. I wonder how long this video's gonna go for. This is just flat out hilarious. Like flat out hilarious. People have no originality in this game anymore. Seriously, if we got a BA versus Mermel, that'd actually be a winner. If we got what's what else is like a top tier deck that's not like top tier anymore? Ooh, too many cats for you. I forgot where we were at. No, no, we're here. We're at Dito. Okay, Dito, I believe in you. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. Unfortunately, Pepe Mirror Match. Oh my God, this is so boring. Like seven minutes into this video, I don't think we're anywhere near done. I'm sorry, guys. So, trying to go a little faster here. It's kind of hard to find the... Okay, here it is. Run to Judgment Dragon versus Ricardo Zarmela 1. Let's see what they're playing. Dog Stew, the Lone Ranger. Oh, we finally got a winner. BA versus Cyframes. It only took seven and a half minutes, guys. Finally! Congratulations to these kids right here. I mean, this guy isn't that high rated. Only 800 rating. And then I guess 14... 23, that's a reasonable rating with BA. I mean, you're not going to get that much higher with BA. You could maybe get 1,500, and if you're really lucky and really good, maybe 1,600, but I mean, I believe 1,500 is like the highest you can get with BA at a time like this. Hopefully, you're not stalking me, Master Stardust, because I'm only doing this for a little bit longer. But anyway, we finally got a winner. Eight-minute video. Wanted it to go below five minutes, but unfortunately, that's not what's going to happen here. Rubik's going up in price. Like, look at that. It's already like a $10 to $15 card again. But here it is. Let's play a game post boss edition. Ooh. I don't know when my next Let's Play a game is going to be. Maybe after the next ban list. Maybe after the next set. Maybe if you guys really like this segment, give it a big thumbs up. I can try this again after even the Monarch starter deck or structure deck. I don't know. But here it is. Your winner. Cyframes versus BA. Seven and a half minutes in. Thanks for watching, and until next time, this is Dog Stew, and I'm signing out.